Hello, everybody. My name is Sergey. I'm a founder and managing director of Flypix AI. We are located in Darmstadt in Germany. And what we are doing, we are providing a software for you, for users, to extract semantics or understanding from satellites, drone, and aerial images. I would like to show this one. Um, since I know that many of you are working with these kind of images taken from, from above, from drones, from aerial platforms, from satellites, and you typically would like to get some so-called features, right? You would like to get building footprints and, and other details. And some of you might say, what is the challenge here? We can do it manually, right? We can put a person here, put bounding boxes or polygons, draw them, and then get all necessary insights. But I also know that some of you need to do it at scale, like this one, right? Or you would like to have the same image, but from the previous year, and you would like to compare these two and say what was the difference, right? To yeah, execute so-called change detection. So there is a fundamental problem that you and we are solving here and answering this question. How can we extract understanding, right? And all necessary details from this Earth observation data at scale and fast. So to give you an example on the same um, image, you would like to get the swimming pools, for example, right? Or you would like to get the building footprints. Or let's say you would like to get the trees and count them. But ideally, what you would like to do is to get everything on one map, get the summary of this. I don't know if you, if you can see it here. So it's a summary how many objects of each type you have, right? And potentially, you would like to compare it with some other timestamp. And you would like to do it, obviously, automatically. Right? So you can build this, maybe for this particular case. But what if everybody of you, and I know you, I know that because you were coming to, to our booth, you have all very different use cases. For example, you have very different trees to count. You have construction sites to monitor and see if there are construction debris there. You have birds and other animals to track. You have containers, right? So very different use cases. On the other hand, they're very similar. I brought this plot to indicate that there is a challenge here in our industry, but also an opportunity. There are so-called mainstream use cases, mostly defense, military, insurance, disaster management, that are covered by many of the software solutions and providers. And many use cases that I showed you before, like for forestry management, for agriculture, they are located here on the long tail. And almost nobody is taking care of this. And these are typically the companies who don't have huge budgets, small agriculture companies, forestry management, uh, maybe some city municipalities, right? So, and our goal as a company was to exactly address this long tail of this distribution. So what we do at Flypix, we provide a few-click access to the Earth observation insights. What have we built for you guys? So we built an AI agent. It's not what the previous speaker was talking about, right? So it's something different, but it's also based on the artificial intelligence. And this artificial intelligence intelligent agent already knows a lot about different objects, areas, classes. For example, it can detect out of the box vehicles, vessels, trees, and some other objects. But you all have very individual use cases, right? You want to detect particular species of animals. You want to detect particular trees, or you would like to classify different forests. That's why you need somehow to interact with, uh, with this agent. This is you, an customer or expert, yeah, with domain expertise. And typically, the challenge of every AI system is to transfer the knowledge from you as domain experts to AI agent, to train this agent, right? And what we came up with, we created an easy and understandable way how to transfer this knowledge, how to train AI agent, how to show what exactly you would like to search, track, understand. 
So what you do, you just select one of the elements, for example, a boat. You find similar, and then you can say, I would like all these boats to constitute my train data set, my data set that will, used, will be used by the AI agent to produce results. You might say, I don't want these boats. I don't want this boat, right? And it will learn from your feedback which type of boats you prefer. Or cranes, or houses, right? Any object that you would like to search, you would like to track, you would like to monitor. So this way, you're providing your expertise, domain knowledge, to train AI agent to then perform for you. So what is our system doing? It works with any aerial drone or satellite images. You don't need any AI or programming skills to operate, right? So you can be non-technical person completely. So you create your custom, custom app just in a few clicks, as you've seen, right? And it's proven to be extremely cost efficient compared, for example, for custom solution for building this software. Very simple steps how to do this. You upload your data or you connect to the data providers that we offer. Then you select an existing AI agent or you create your own agent easily as I showed on the previous uh, slide. Then you apply this agent maybe one time. Some people need it to be applied one time. Some people to need to monitor continuously, right? So you can do it. And then you get insights on the interactive dashboard and then you act accordingly. And then you can count all your trees. You can detect all the cement blocks on your construction site. You can get all the species classified and count. You can get all the containers and others. Pricing, very important point. I know that there are issues with pricing for many, especially small companies or forestry managers, right? What we offer is so-called pay as you go. So you would pay only the money for the amount of megapixels you need to process. It's very transparent and very intuitive. Please visit our website to see the details. Some testaments. Uh, so last year we were uh, awarded with the best AI for Earth observation uh, company by the European Space Agency. And I think this speaks for itself. Yeah, please visit our booth for the demo. Uh, visit our website. There is a free trial. You can try uh, yeah, building your use case. Uh, thanks for your attention.